Welcome back. Well, yeah, we haven't podcasted in a little while. Till the shit show. It, it, actually, <laughs> it actually feels kind of weird now talking into them. I, I haven't done it in so long. Yeah, we did a ton of it for like three weeks. Straight, like just every day almost, yeah. or every other day at least. Maybe every three days, I guess. I'm, you know, I'm over you know, exaggerating. You colleges, you just caught up in a bunch of yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bullshit all the time, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, oh, dude, I'm so stressed about college uh, all the time. Yeah. I don't like, uh, dude, <laughs> I don't like that, actually, when people are, like, talking about how stressed they are about college and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, it is, like, you know, yeah. stressful. I, as long as yeah. you stay on your shit, like. And I think other schools are more stressful than others. Oh, but, yeah. like, our school is definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> definitely not that <laughs> hard. You just, like, keep up with the homework. Like, if you don't do good, if you don't do, like, at least all right at our school you're probably not trying like, <laughs> like at it, all <laughs> it, barely barely at all like you're probably giving like 50 yeah. percent effort if you're if you're not doing pretty fucking good or at least like passable pretty much yeah you should be able to pass yeah every class mm-hmm. unless you're like incapable of learning like, or if you subject. like if you miss a bunch of or classes you just mi- or you just don't go to that class. it did happen to me <laughs> I thought the best of us. I thought I was like I was like okay. There's like a 99 percent chance that this guy isn't going to be taking attendance, right? Yeah. Psych. He was this the semester. Whole, no, this last is like semester? I think last semester, this semester before. He was taking attendance. Yeah. Damn. Or she maybe I can't remember. <laughs> but <laughs> did you hear about the tree fundraiser that's going on? No, I did not. Basically, is it about Earth Day? I don't know. When is Earth Day? Tomorrow, dude. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think it's... I think it's I'm think pretty every, sure it's April 21st. I thought every day was Earth Day. Oh, I vaguely remember it being April 21st. it's the, 21st, cause cause it's the day, after day after 420. 420. Yeah. <laughs> you blow trees and then you plant them. <laughs> yeah. But basically... <laughs> At least some people do. Yeah. Not us. Mr. Beast, the YouTuber... Yeah. Started, like, a fun rate. There was, like, a meme about him. Yeah. Like when I when the whole mm-hmm. environment summit was happening, it was like, oh, the Earth's gonna die or whatever. There's a meme about Mr. Beast saying that like, like it was like a made up video of him. Mm-hmm. It was like Mr. Beast plants twenty million trees to save the Earth, and so he started. He teamed up with some charity mm-hmm. that plants a bunch of trees. Yeah, and somehow it's like a a dollar. One dollar equals one tree. It's pretty cheap for a tree. Yeah. I don't know how... Maybe it's just, like, quantity thing. Like, the more you buy it, you know how, like, if you buy shit off, like, Alibaba, and you, <laughs> you buy, buy, like... a bunch of seedlings you buy, If you want to buy, like, one thing, it's going to be, like, five bucks, but if you want to buy, like, a hundred things, it's, yeah. like, it's like 50 cents a piece. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like that, maybe. Kind of like that. Maybe. I don't know. But this charity or whatever, he teamed up with them, and then I think he's raised, like, five million dollars already. Wow. So that's five million trees planted. Or that's a that lot of that's a lot of presumably millions. Presumably will be planted. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't fall through on his word. <laughs> I mean, like you'd hope that yeah. it's just actually keeps, gonna happen. Just keeps all the money. But I don't know how you like prove that you yeah, planted exactly, five Exactly, right? It's not like you, you can just document every tree with like a yeah. I mean, all trees look the same mostly. And you can't I mean, just kinda. like there's no way you can find one field to put f- Yeah. <laughs> Twenty million trees in. Exactly. And dude, like <laughs> You could just find, like, a bunch of pictures, like, online of a bunch of, like, saplings planted in, like, an apple orchard yeah. or something and just, like, bullshit and, and be like, yeah, I planted all these trees. Yeah. Woo, here's my $5 million now. I mean, the charity is, like... Legit. Legit, but... Yeah. Imagine if... <laughs> what if? <laughs> imagine if they, it's a scam, dude. Imagine the, it could be a scam. The guy who, like, started the charity or girl that started the charity. Yeah. Um, is just, like, skimming off the top. Taking a He's bunch so of bad. money. It'd be so bad, dude. That shit happens, though, which is so sad. What if it's less than a dollar for a tree, and they're just making mad bank? And they're, well, I'm guessing... <laughs> they probably have to pay people. Yeah, they probably have to pay people, so it probably is less than a dollar. And I don't... I mean, like, obviously, I'm not an accountant for one, and for two, I'm not their accountant. <laughs> so I couldn't tell you, but, like... And I have no I'm clue guessing how much a sapling costs. I'm, yeah, <laughs> and I have 0% <laughs> clue how much buying a shit ton of saplings costs. I mean, <laughs> one sapling, I would guess, would range probably... I mean, that little tree there was 20 bucks. That was at Home Depot. I guess that's, like, kind of... Yeah. It's not full-grown, but it's, like, m- m- 
early adult life, I guess. Yeah. But. I'm pretty sure the trees they're planting are smaller than that. Okay. So, but they're probably younger. Yeah. Yeah. So I would guess as, yeah, that a younger. sapling, if you were to just buy one of those trees, I'd probably say it'd be like maybe around 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. But the more you buy, right? Yeah. The cheaper they get. So if you're buying that many and they're charging a dollar, I don't know how big of a team they have. I'm guessing a lot because that's a lot of trees. They got to have a lot of people involved in this a whole lot of deal, volunteers. right? A lot of people getting them from seeds to saplings at least, right? Mm-hmm. Especially that. That's probably their biggest labor force, right? Seed to sapling. Seed to sapling, bud. And so I'm guessing they they charge. They probably charge twice what it costs twice i don't know how to say it i guess but like twice what the tree actually costs just to cover the rest of yeah like the the direct labor basically yeah so well the dude tree, no the actually would be like 50 cents almost then... all of it's probably labor yeah if you think about it because seeds are what like basically worthless <laughs> i mean not that's not yeah, you know what i true. mean they're like basically like you can buy like so a pack of, the... of like 50 seeds for like 20 cents yeah. And they all have the potential to become a plant. Not all of them will. Well, with proper but watering. With proper watering, you have probably a good 90% seed rate of actually working out. I could yeah. be wrong on that. Again, I'm but this is a coin flip again. But Elon Musk Yeah. Donated a million dollars by himself. I guess like like out of his yesterday. pocket or from yeah. Tesla. Just out of his pocket. That's pretty sick. And then he changed his Twitter name to Treelon. T R E E. Dude, he's a meme. L O N. Tree lawn must. I love when like he like either... tweets memes out now. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> That's like you know the band Weezer. Yeah, they sing like "Say It Ain't So" and that kind of thing. Um, I will not go. Rivers Cuomo. <laughs> Rivers Cuomo <laughs> is their lead singer, right? Uh-huh. And uh, so he's got an Instagram account, and literally all he does is post fan memes that people DM <laughs> to him. That's literally almost the entire <laughs> account. Probably 99% of what he posts yeah. is just like memes about himself that other people make or memes about like his, <sighs> excuse me, um, band or like songs or something. And it's, they're usually pretty freaking yeah, meme, funny. I mean, I mean, dude, memes are just like enjoyable. Like think of how many definitely. people, even if you're like not like someone who's like looking at memes on Instagram. Yeah. You still see a couple memes. Mm-hmm. Maybe your friend sent them to you. Maybe you just yep. stumble upon them and you look at them. And you're like, oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah. And then, you know what I think is really interesting is did you have like the app iFunny when you were younger? I know of it. Okay. So basically, it was just like a giant. It was like a giant stream of just memes that people would make, right? Yeah. And like, people would put lots of like effort into it. <laughs> back in the day, right? Like, not even back in the day. I mean, this is only the, probably, what, like, eight years ago, maybe? Because iPhone dropped off pretty hard once, like, people started, like, making meme accounts on Instagram and stuff and getting yeah. big. But, um, so they'd have 20 featured every day, or maybe it was twice a day or something. I can't remember. I For some reason, I feel like it was multiple times a day. Like, one in the morning, one at lunch, and then one, like, at around dinner time, right? Uh, or something like that. Um... So you'd have a bunch of things to scroll through that were like the top ones that they like the iFunny team or whatever like found and they're like these are funny blah yeah. blah whatever and they're always usually pretty good right and they would be they they call them like most of them were usually most of what was popular during this time period on that app was they they're called the rage comics which are like the oh uh, I, I know you what know you're talking like about. they're basically look like comic strips and they're that's kind yeah. of the style of them it's like and stick now figures. you have you have memes that are literally just like yeah. Just are, are funny Literally because be they anything. make no sense, or because they're just like insane. Like if if anybody's familiar with like meme terms, like battery acid memes, which are the ones that are like just <laughs> you just take the saturation of the photo and you like crank it up and you manipulate all the colors and make it look like crazy, basically. Yeah. And then you just put some like words on the top and like every it's just funny, but it's like definitely a thousand times <laughs> less effort than actually like making a joke in a meme, you know. Because meme, I don't know. I, I can't be wrong on the origin, but I think they kind of basically started as, um, like, most of what was on iFunny, like Rage yeah. Comics. And, I feel like they... And, like, the, um, like, all the little figures, like Bad Luck Brian and yeah, then that little baby guys, who's got his, like, fist up like this. Baby. Success baby or whatever. And then all those, all those people, basically. And I feel like memes are now 
some animals. And They've stuff. evolved and become more yeah. potent. Yeah, definitely. They went from like just images and text to like gifts. Mm-hmm. And then back to images. I don't even know. Yeah, they're all they kinds just, of things. And there's even videos any, now. Anything and, can be a meme. Yeah. And then Vine came out and just really kind of <laughs> changed the whole like thing because you could That was like it's video argue, memes. It's basically video memes. You can argue that it's basically video memes and like that's kind of what TikTok is. TikTok is just a true. bunch of memers. TikTok was like a necessary evil to replace Vine as best they could without copying the like idea base, like exactly pretty much. TikTok is a and then they kind of marketed it. They marketed it as a different, like a whole different idea than Vine. But when it, you're down to it, it's basically the exact yeah. same thing, pretty much. TikTok from has what I understand. I've never posted on a TikTok or anything, so I don't really know how that works. I have the but, app downloaded, and you don't have to have an account to actually like, oh, look yeah. at shit. I, so yeah, I have. I, have, I don't know yeah, how they choose. Maybe I, used to. I don't know if I still do. I don't know how they choose what TikToks to show me, but I'll just scroll through them. It's just on there. Yeah. Maybe it's just like recently posted or like popular and yeah. recent. Maybe. Probably popular and recent. Some of them are funny. Some of them are just like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. There's also, if you if you want a good laugh or or if you're just really bored, <laughs> um, there's a lot of like TikTok cringe compilations on YouTube that are like 20 <laughs> minutes long, 10 minutes long, 8 minutes, you know, um, that are like just the like cringiest, grossest, not really gross, actually, but you know what I mean, right? Just like the worst in people, yeah. You know, like they're <laughs> <laughs> just the worst in people. And like, you can just find compilations of them, and they're usually pretty funny because it's just like, you, it, like it'll be like a little, like a little kid, like yelling about how he wants Pokemon or something for like ten minutes in a in like his like in his voice is kind of weird, and that's what's funny about it. And you, you know, it's just, I mean, <laughs> and they just they. I don't know how the hell they get the app because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be like an age restriction. Maybe there's not, but there should definitely be, I think, anyway. I don't know. But um, Maybe it should be age restricted for like people who are under 18. Yeah, probably. I mean, did you uh, you know about the app um, Social Club, the one Peyton, and yeah. Peyton told us about? Yeah. Um, that one got taken off the app store. Social club. What? Was, yeah. <laughs> no like way. about a week after it launched, like not even maybe cause you I downloaded were, it. I downloaded yeah. it. And then the next day it was gone. P love. You guys love that. We both app. have it. Yeah. Still. Cause if you downloaded it before that time, I mean, Android users can still get it. So he could still down redownload it. Right. But it got taken off the Apple app store like that, like that. And, uh, um, was it really that, I mean, I guess it was kind of that. So basically pretty raunchy memes. What the, well, they had other problems, presumably. <laughs> I don't know why they actually did it, but I'll tell you my impression of the whole thing, right? So it's basically a copy of Instagram, but less made to connect with people that you know or that you want to follow. And it's basically like Instagram, I guess, right? But without the with, with, with pretty much no policies. You can post pretty much it's unfiltered like there's what's the word for it um like unrestricted ba- unrestricted like like I- extremely free speech no community guidelines no policies nothing I, from what you i can understood you post whatever you want you can post basically whatever you want so i'm guessing they had some problems with that as you can imagine cuz humans are sick and the app stores want certain kind of apps on there exactly so i think that's why it probably got removed cert- and they're probably content. like okay i can see that so because like half the posts you would see would be memes right and then you'd see like um uh and then the other half were basically like um people trying to sell drugs pretty much online. oh yeah that's pretty much it would be almost a perfect 50 50 split um, on the Discover page, which is the one that most people just used, I'm guessing. You can get banned on Instagram if you, if they look at your account and think that you're trying to sell drugs. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. But but see, Social Club and had Snapchat, nothing against that. You could totally sell drugs on there, yeah. and they didn't care. Um, or maybe they do, but they're just very, very loose about it, and they don't... I mean, they're obviously pretty small because not many people have heard about them for one and two. They got taken off the App Store a week after being put on it, so <laughs> there's not that many users, especially from Apple's side. Um, so I'm guessing they had no business development, really, and didn't ever have, like, a real... Um, yeah, I wonder who made it. You know? I wonder if it was just, like, one person. Yeah, um, I have no idea. Oh, not this shit again. 
Somebody probably <laughs> <laughs> somebody probably had the idea, like most like most companies yeah. start or apps start. Somebody had an idea, and either they made it by themselves, or they hired people to help, or they had friends who knew how to do it, or they just worked with people, yeah. or they did it all by themselves. Basically, I don't know. That's my thing. There, but. there used to be an app on the App Store called I'd Cap That. And I you, remember hearing this. I think you'd upload a picture, and then just put like a random caption on it. Yeah. And, like, sometimes it'd be funny, like, really funny. Yeah, dude. What's the, uh, oh, uh, uh, you're cool, dude. You're so wow. cool. <laughs> I buy guns. Wow. <laughs> Peyton is a hunter. Cool guy. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, um, what's the app, uh, Diddy, dude? Oh, yeah, where you just, like, that was a fun, that was a funny app. You type in words and dude, it makes could, it into a song. In high school, that was, like, the like that was like a big thing, like a really bad song. Yeah, it, it, you can like select a genre, so it'll normally be like hip hop, or you can do like EDM, or like dubstep, <laughs> or you can do like rock and stuff. And it's always the same backing track, yeah. pretty much. But you can type in whatever you want it to say, and whatever, it will like, sing it phrase. in either a male or a female voice or whatever you want. Pretty much, you can customize it, you know. And you can get it to say whatever you want. So you can make songs about your friends. Like, I can make a song that's... Some of them were really funny. Like, Lu- <laughs> Lewis is dumb, you know? And, and yeah. they would just do it. And But, I mean, obviously, we were in high school, so things got worse than that. But, yeah. Some, dude. It'd be, it, instead of Lewis is it's, dumb, like, in high school, when it would be bad, it would be, like, Lewis is stupid. It's crazy that Vine died. Or yeah, Vine why... Did it closed down. Why did they do that? They couldn't monetize it. Like, they couldn't make money off of why it. Why not? I don't know. They didn't want to put, like, ads on it. Yeah, but they could But, like, everyone... Right. At that point, it was, like, kind of the... I feel like at that point, it was weird... Yeah. ...for social media apps to have ads. That is very true, because that's kind of a newer thing. Yeah. Snapchat didn't have ads until probably, what, like, a year or two ago? Yeah. Could be wrong. Like, how... Yeah. I never noticed it's them. It's kind of crazy. And I guess Snapchat, even a year or two ago, had no place to put ads because it was literally just communication and stories. And then they started putting all those stupid Extra freaking stuff. magazine articles and, and I'm stuff pretty sure on you, it. I'm pretty sure they pay to have that spot. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. And then you they put ads in. And yeah. But Instagram, similar way. I think Facebook was probably the first. And then once... Facebook ads... Once Facebook bought Instagram. Well, YouTube, if you count that as social media. Yeah, but which I guess kind of, but kind of not. It's more of a... Just a YouTube, platform. broadcast yourself. Yeah, pretty, it's pretty much, I guess, a self-broadcast form. That was, their, that was like their tagline, broadcast yourself. Really? Yeah. That's kind of weird. That's kind of off-putting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, yeah. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sounds sketchy. It does. And then YouTube got bought by Google. And then Instagram bought, got bought by Facebook. Yeah. Snapchat got bought by Facebook, I think. No, I don't think they did. Are you sure? I vaguely remember a meme. Or I'd look it up. Yeah. Of <laughs> it was like some... It was like This some, is coming full circle yeah, now. It's like some <laughs> action movie. And someone said... I don't. I don't even remember what it was, but basically, mm-hmm. it was Facebook like offering Snapchat a billion dollars, and Snapchat someone oh, yeah, with the Snapchat like logo over their face says like "fuck you" or "no" yeah. <laughs> or something. <laughs> so I don't think they did get. Maybe they did get bought. I don't know. Bought out. I don't know. I don't remember. I feel like Facebook has enough money to buy anybody out. Oh yeah. Facebook, Amazon, Google. I watched this video. It's like a race that was for who can buy the most stuff. I watched this video that was uh, the other day that was like a chart. The entire video was a chart with like really dramatic music, mm-hmm. and it just showed like website growth from like the beginning of the internet till like I present day, like until like October like 2019. So like what this month basically, right? And it was I don't know. I thought it was really interesting. Google like first of all like half the websites on there I had never even heard of including like two of them to this day they're the highest used apparently website really? i didn't know what two of them were at all didn't you recognize the logo or? one of them the logo was like a dog print huh. yeah i have no idea what it was though <laughs> what? and then um 
yeah, I don't know. And then another one, I can't remember what it was, but I had no idea what they were. And I was <laughs> also surprised to see, well, not surprised to see that Yahoo was beating Google for the longest time because yeah, I think they were out before Google, obviously, and they had a relative, I mean, relative to other search engines, very good. And they also provided mail and news and weather and everything else, yeah, right? Because Yahoo was, used to be really cool. I yeah. don't know. I haven't been on Yahoo's homepage in a long time, but it used to be like, I don't know. That, that was before my time. I didn't even have a Yahoo like email or anything. I did, dude. Yeah. I still do, actually. My original email is still a Yahoo email. But um, My original email, I don't have the password for, for it. I don't know if it's even still active, but it was Tony Romo fan 98 at gmail.com. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I made it to get Facebook, maybe. So yeah, I could play that Farm- makes sense. So, so I could play Farmville. Farmville. <laughs> and I did a lie was about Farmville my age, Was Farmville only too. through Facebook? Yeah, it was remember, a Facebook uh, game. Did you ever play the game, uh, really? Yeah. A Facebook game. They so should do that again. you could only play it on Facebook. So you had to have the Facebook app open? Yeah. That's like You had to log into weird. Facebook, go to games... They still have games on there. Really? There was like one. I had no idea. There was one where you like built like an army base or something. Yeah. And you had like planes and stuff and you could request troops from your friends. And like, that's all I did. Like in sixth grade. Could you request troops from your friends and then they send them and then you go attack them? Because that would be sick. I think you could. That would be sick. All I know is I I was looking at like my Facebook feed Uh and... One of my <laughs> one of my older brother's friends that apparently I was friends with on Facebook, mm-hmm. he posted on my wall saying, stop re- requesting troops from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was That's just really trying to, dude, I was just trying to grind. That's so you funny. Know? Did you ever play uh, Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah. That was a banger. That game was sick. That really is, stupid. It's still a good, I think people still play it. I'm sure people do. I'm sure they're on like version five probably because Plants vs. Zombies 2 came out and stuff. What was the other? Oh, shoot, what was it? Dude, you know what I realized also? Balloons Tower Defense? 99.9% of the games that are advertised on Instagram are literally just really crappy games made so that they can put ads in them. Yeah. Like, one, I'm, like that's exactly it. I'm 100% sure that that's the only reason that they are games. They are like... <laughs> just barely interesting enough games to get you to play it a couple of times to watch the ads a couple of times, at least. Like, maybe, maybe say, like, 10 or 20 times. Maybe yeah. some people stay more, you know. Some of them I like, but m- the majority of them are just really stupid. Like, really, really stupid. And they have, they'll market it, like, really well. So they'll make I- it look... They'll make it look like it's going to be, oh, my gosh, this looks like a really fun game. Or they'll be like, only, 90, only 1% of people get to this level. And that's like the beginning level. Yeah. The something. only game I have on my phone is Evil Apples. Evil Apples. I remember that one, but it's what like, is it? It's like apples to apples, but like dirtier. Wow. Yikes. And that's because <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but... Mm-hmm. Over the summer, I was with some buds, and they were like, download Evil Apples. And I was like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Chill. And I just haven't deleted it yet. That's funny. I just have a bunch of random, like, basically Instagram ads. Do you have games on your phone? (laughs) Do you have games? I remember being that kid. Dude. Like, walking up to kids who had, like, iPhones and being like, or, like, friends. And be like, do you have games on your phone? Can I play? That's so funny. I never like did asking that. my mom if I could play games on her phone. <laughs> I ne- I never did that because my mom, my dad got a smartphone, but it was for work and it was uh, it was like one of those um, what are those droids? You know, it's an Android, but it, okay. it's called like Droid was like the brand. I, I vaguely think. remember that. And it was, like, a terrible smartphone, yeah. basically. It was basically not an upgrade from, like, anything else. It just had a touch screen. And then my mom had this. It was called the LG Chocolate, and it was, like, a touch screen phone. But it was, like, it was, only, you know, it, it had zero. You couldn't download apps. There was nothing, right? Yeah. And you could barely use the internet. Barely, right? And it would take, like, 50 years to load, like, the home page. And um, so I was never, like, oh, can I play games, you know, because... And then I guess because my mom got 
the iPhone 4S, and then they upgraded me to that too, like with some bundle package or something. So I then had mine right away too. So then I never really had, I guess. Actually, you know what? I think I did play. Well, I guess I got my mom's like flip phone just like deactivated. Like there was no service or anything mm-hmm. um, when she got a new phone. So there were a couple of games on there, like some like Brick Breaker style like games, you know, that I could play on there. Um, so that kept me pretty entertained. Plus Swaggy. my Nintendo DS, dude. Yeah, which if was you have sick. a Nintendo DS, it's you're like, basically set. Why do you need a phone then? Yeah, Picto Chat can basically get you through everything. What the hell is Picto Chat, dude? There's no <laughs> purpose. There's zero <laughs> purpose. You can send things to friends. I think it's. I'm guessing it's over Bluetooth from like 15 feet away. That's, that's it. it. That's it's literally <laughs> like when you send like your friend a meme or like a text message in the same room. Like, that's what, that's what and you just, chat. and you kind of like you send it and then you look it's just something you, like funny that you that you saw or yeah. made or whatever and then you look over at them and you just wait for their phone to like vibrate. It's basically the exact same thing. That's all you can do. There's not there's no other purpose. I remember like sitting on there and I'd like draw stuff. Yeah, but that's like, pretty much what I would use it for. It is wouldn't, just I wouldn't be able to like send it to anyone. Like <laughs> exactly. I don't even know if you little, could save them. Could you even save? I them? don't think so. No, probably not on the original DS because there was like zero menu on that. On I the remember, DSi, I think you probably could. The DSi was a huge upgrade, dude. I had huge a, upgrade. I think I had a. I don't even remember what kind of DS I had. It was pretty slim. Did it have a camera? Yeah. DSi. DSi. Yeah. And it was like matte black. Yeah, I had the same exact one. Yeah. I remember I, I saved had. up money to bo- go buy that thing, and I was like super pumped and i went and bought it because my brother had one he got one for christmas like the year before or whatever yeah, i was like hard. okay i want one of those those are dope right yeah my parents were like no you're fine with your current ds so i was like i don't know i don't even know what grade i was in and i was like i didn't have it barely any way of making money so what i would do is my <laughs> parents had this giant change jar so every day i'd take take a couple little couple. bit out like yeah. a, like a dollar and then i would like sell stuff and then like one dude, one year I made like seventy bucks in a summer off a lemonade stand. It was fire. That's and then sick. Also, I um in when I was in fourth grade, this is probably a big part of it of how I got to the money. I think it was one hundred and thirty dollars that I needed to get right to buy this. I could be wrong though. Yeah. And um, um in fourth grade, I had this teacher who was awesome, and we basically he taught us how to do like personal finance kind of, but in fourth grade. Okay. Through through like making it fun, right? You have to yeah. rent you have to rent your desk or you can pay it off. Or um then there oh, like wow. you have jobs and stuff and you get paid for them. It's, it's like all like f- the fake money, obviously. He's not yeah. actually paying you or making you do labor or anything, right? But um it's a really cool way and you could you could pay your friends for things and all kinds of stuff, right? At the end of the year to get all of his like little money that he made back, um, he would have like an auction, basically, right? So yeah. It would just be like random like things that he either had from home that he didn't like he upgraded or something. Yeah. So what I did, right? And I was like, all these kids were like buying these like cool looking post it notes and stuff and cool like pencil Sick. pencil bags Sick and things. Upgrades. And I'm like, <laughs> I got my eyes on the prize. I'm like, I'm getting that printer. He had an HP printer. And I was wow. like, I'm getting that printer and I'm gonna resell it for real money. Hell so I spent yeah. all my money on the printer, won it, got super hyped, carried that sum of bitch home. <laughs> Literally went and sat sick. sat on my front step, like next, like in right in front of the sidewalk uh-huh. for like the entire day, like after school, like until like you know, until it started to get dark out, and sold the printer that day for thirty five bucks, dude. Oh, wow. Actually, maybe even more. It might have been fifty bucks. Some like I think it was some old lady was like, "No, you does it work?" And I was like, "Sure." I don't know. I didn't plug Did, it in. She was just like walking past. Yeah, she was just walking. Her, <laughs> she was walking her dog, and <laughs> she was even- like. She's like, does it, like, blah, blah, you know, and she's just asking me about it. And she's like, how much do you want for it? And I was like, I probably got, like, 50 bucks, actually. Because I got, I got I know it got me, like, the like close to the majority of the way to the DSi. The more, mm-hmm. Like, the, the rest of that I needed, basically, to get there. And um, and then she's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to take my dog home, and I'll come back and pick it up. And I was like, wicked. Sick. I was like, you better, you better bring 50 bucks, lady, because yeah. I'm not letting it go for anything less. And I was just hyped. And then I was like, oh, man, dude, that was such a good move. Because you can't sell a pencil case for 50 bucks. You can't sell, no. You know, if I you bought a bunch of small items. Move. Yeah. Yeah. So. You fucking played everyone in that room. I did, dude. I was like, I everybody was like bidding on stupid things because in the, in the beginning. And the printer was the last item. 
And I was just waiting the entire time. I was just sitting there. I'm like, I know what I'm going to get. And if I don't get it, I'm going to be pissed. Dude, you got a whole ass printer. I got a printer, dude. <laughs> In fourth grade, I just came home from school with a printer. And I was probably like, what the f- Did you steal this? <laughs> dude, I won. The only thing I ever got from school, mm-hmm. I won a cheese ball competition. Which we there was like a jar of cheese balls. You have to guess how many. You have to in guess it. how many are in them. I thought you were gonna say like and we're gonna eat the most or something. No, I was like that's so weird. <laughs> and I like guessed it right, and I don't even remember. Like I I just know I was walking out of school with this bucket of cheese balls, and I got in the car, and my mom was like, "Where'd you get those?" And I was like, "Oh, I won them." And then like that was it. I don't even remember. That's sick. Do you remember uh, grade school lunches, dude? Yeah. Oh my god, some of those were so fire. We used to. We, I hate to say it as gross as that is, but some were so <laughs> good, dude. I don't really remember what lunches I looked forward to in grade school. Well, I do. I can tell you which ones were bomb. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. We used to get that like what the last Friday actual brand pizza, dude. Yeah, the last Friday of like every month. This was when, like, I would say, before fourth grade, like the last Friday every every month we'd have Little Caesars. That's pretty sick. And then. In 2009, I want to say, Michelle Obama put in, like, stricter... Yeah, that was the worst. Like, she didn't do it herself, but she advocated for it. Yeah, that was the worst. Stricter, like, dietary restrictions on school lunches. And that, then, ru- that ruined literally the rest of grade school. Dude, we me. had to stop getting we got, Little We started Caesars. getting salads, bro. They started... There's, and they started... Ha- like... I would, they'd be like, okay, like here's your fruit or whatever, and they'd hold out like the spoon, and I'd be like, no, I'm good, and they'd be like, we have to give it to you. You don't have to eat it, but we have to give it to you. I'm like, why? Just yeah. don't. I don't care. I'm not gonna tell anybody. everyone. Everyone had to take uh, like, apple, an apple or an orange every day. Everyone so had to terrible. take an apple or an orange. So dumb. And most of the kids just threw them out. That's what I'm saying. Is like that's literally just a way to make kids waste food. No kid's gonna want to eat an apple. I mean, maybe. But yeah. like rare, it's very rare. Like probably five percent of kids want to eat, actually eat apples. Grades, I remember in grade school lunch, like I liked caramel. a lot. The, we had spaghetti. Yeah, that we was had really spaghetti good. Too. Ours was all right, but ours I went hard. F- well, for, ours was so <laughs> ours was so like hot, like, like temperature wise. Yeah, like you'd get it and you'd have to wait until like until five like minutes part. before lunch was over, and then you'd have to like scarf it all down like so, so fast. Funny. Dude, so our, but it, yeah, we had dank. We had a f- quite a few that were like really fire, right? Salisbury steak. We didn't have that. Was so good, it was so good. <laughs> Salisbury. Okay. That was like probably my favorite. Well, dude, that's hard to say because then we also had chicken patty on bun. Oh my god, chicken patty, chicken patty day was lit. That was. Freaking lit, dude! That was insane. I remember. Dude, I would get French so to- hyped. French toast sticks. Yeah, we had French toast sticks. sticks. Ours was, my personal opinion, they were okay. Ours were okay. Not the best lunch, but definitely not a bad one. Yeah. Um, then we had rectangle rectangular pizza that perfectly fit in yeah. the lunch tray. I know that I know was exactly. fire. That was pretty. How good. How weird is it that like every school has those same fucking lunch trays? Freaking and, lunch trays. <laughs> and the uh, and that like the uh, the foods are all kind of the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then uh, chicken nuggets was bomb. Chicken nuggets. Mini corn dogs was bomb. The mini corn dogs at my grade school, they went through a dark period. Oh, ours did too, dude. But then at the end, I want to say like maybe seventh or eighth grade, they had a huge resurrection to like (laughs) prime, (laughs) prime mini corn dogs. It was amazing, dude. So funny. It was like they were they were really good. Resurrection. Maybe they were like maybe, maybe like early in my school career they was just like oh mini corn dogs sick and like yeah. but then I got sick of them but then like they just got way better. That's awesome. Like we had a new supply. Actually, or something. I think, dude, I I remember that too because the breading I yeah. remember being the yes. biggest part because he came back and it was like oh my gosh this is like a delicacy. Dude. Yeah, they were insane. The breading the breading got a major upgrade. Yeah. on the mini corn dogs. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> What the that hell is insane. this conversation, dude? <laughs> so funny. What else, dude? What else were there? I I, there was one like, other meal I can't dude, think of. They were like, we had like these mozzarella sticks. Yeah. And you'd we, get two of them. No, we had three, dude. We get three. 
we only got two. And they were, and, and they were kind of like, <laughs> like stuck together and like yeah. perforated together. <laughs> yeah. You guys only got two. You guys got gypped. Dude, but this is the thing. Every day it was like mozzarella stick day. First of all, we had two options for lunch every That's day. That's insane, dude. That's sick. We had and to check. We had to go on the like the uh, website for our grade school and check what was going to be for lunch the next day, and we knew if we wanted to bring stuff or leave or, or eat there. We had we had the calendar, but there were two options every day. That's so cool. And we, I don't know if your school had this, but we had smart boards. Yeah, we had, and we had we started out with just one in a fifth grade classroom, and then we got one more in a seventh grade classroom, and now when I when I stopped working there. Mm-hmm. I think probably 90% of the classrooms had them. Wow. Fifth See, when grade. I was in fifth grade. Still the No, when I was in fourth grade, mm-hmm. one cl- or like one classroom in each grade had a smart wow. board. That's pretty impressive. And then when I came back fifth grade, everyone had a smart board. Wow. Every classroom had a wow. smart board. Wow. And big power moves, dude. Huge power. Wow. Even the art, even the art room had a had a smart board and we didn't even shouldn't use the, te- the board. Shouldn't the teacher be able to just like Draw it, yeah, but we <laughs> didn't even use it. That was the funny thing is it was there, and like it never. I don't think it, it ever got turned on once. That's so funny because art class, dude. Here's my thing. Okay, so that fifth grade classroom that had a smart board, the first smart board. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was the first one that ever came out, but it was definitely an old school looking one, right? Yeah. And now, at like more like a lot of the classrooms have them. By far, the one in fifth grade is definitely the coolest looking. Really, like the first one. They all look like shit now. They come out from the wall like a foot. That one mounted flush with the wall almost. Like like if you were to mount yeah. a flat screen TV on the wall, it looks the exact Ours same. Ours all came much. out like, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, and they had like the speakers on the side and stuff. Yep. Yeah. So this, like, I guess the downside of the fifth grade one is obviously it's older for one. Two, um, probably can't do as much. And three, there was no speakers on it. So you had to have your own like audio set up oh, in the okay. room. But I mean, like, who cares? You it looked way cooler. Like the the newer ones, just I mean, they look nicer, definitely. Like by like a lot nicer, but they just suck, dude. You have to mount them so far off the wall. I mounted a couple of smart boards in my day back as a janitor. Hell yeah, mounted two of them. One Those of the big guys too, the big ones, the, the ones that are as big as this wall. I'll also say I don't <laughs> as big as that wall, the long one, Eight, eighteen feet by eight feet, dude. They were huge. That's I couldn't even insane. lift them. We had to get the whole janitor staff just to lift them up. <laughs> and you had to do one side at a time. The other yeah. one just hanged on the ground. <laughs> Uphill both ways. We <laughs> in grade school, we'd come in like right as school started, and every teacher would have like a T chart, and on one side would be like the first option for lunch, and on the other side would be like the second option for lunch. And you put that's what and you you put your... you'd drag your name to whatever one you wanted. That's sick. And it's not like it was even done by name. Like, mm-hmm. you just counted up the numbers and be like, all right, this is how much we need of that. That's yeah. how much we need of that. But I remember my friends, it was always like a joke to go and, like, grab someone's name and move it to the other side, <laughs> to the lunch they don't want. <laughs> so bad. We- <laughs> so we were always, like, trolling each other. And, like, one kid got really mad. He wasn't really our friend, but we moved his name. Bad idea. He had, like, a breakdown. Yikes, dude. Poor guy. And we are and. I remember I was like, dude, you don't actually have to take that lunch. Like, no one's going to know. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> <laughs> just one kid won't get what they want, yeah. and they'll they have to set up, but who cares? But um, OR did it. Not OR. I mean, QR. My QR. grade school. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. OR, there's probably a thousand different. Yeah, there's different probably a thousand ORs. ORs in the state. And that's not even matter. the full name. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. So um, at my grade school, we had... We did it differently. We had, uh, you had to pass around like a sheet, um, like a sign up sheet basically, because we had like lunch accounts. It wasn't included like with like going to school there or anything. You had to like have your own money in like an account. And then once you ran out, they literally would not feed you. Like if you, they would feed you up until like minus five or $10. And then they literally would just not give you you food. You would have to have, you would have to just eat other friends' food and be like, dude, I'll get you tomorrow. Like, (laughs) you know, but um, classic. (laughs) <laughs> so they send the sign-up sheet around or whatever, and you could put double milk if you want two milk yeah, cartons. Yeah, dude, that was always big. Which was fire. And you could get double <laughs> entree, dude. And until until Michelle Obama took over, you could get double entree, and it would be fat. You get two big slices of pizza. <laughs> you get two chicken patties. You get six of those mozzarella sticks. You get two Salisbury steaks. It was so sick. So sick. 
e- almost every day by I mean, the time we were in seventh and eighth grade, we'd all get double entree. Sometimes, dude, in some meals, they would offer triple entree. Like the Salisbury steaks were pretty small. You could get three of them. That's insane. Like a mountain. Did you Do you remember Salisbury how steaks. many mini corn dogs you got? I want to... Because I know like, how much we got, and I know... I want to say probably s- six sounds too little, but it sounds familiar. Yeah. I think it was eight, but I could We be got six, and I know that for a fact. Okay. And it was always a huge deal, because everyone was pissed about the six mini corn dogs. Oh, we were like, what yeah. do you mean we only get six? Yeah, right. Like, that is not enough. Twelve is like... Especially when they Twelve is like average amount, I'd say. <laughs> If Personally, yeah. <laughs> you, now yeah. I could probably eat like fifteen or eighteen and like be like, okay, I'm I'm getting close to full. <laughs> but it was always huge because everyone would get their six mini corn dogs. Everyone would be pissed about it. Yep. And then they'd make the. I think so, ours might have been six too. Now that I'm thinking about, because I remember having the same thing and people being like, what, "What is this? We have to get that entree just to eat." Yeah, like a normal portion. But the lunch ladies, once everyone had been served, they'd call. For seconds, and it was literally just a fucking sprint, a freaking sprint for the for, the, for like the serving counter. Everyone would just That's run up there as fast <laughs> as they can to get you more. You guys got seconds? That's sick. Only if there was extra. Yeah, but still, like they would never do that for us. They'd just be like, "Okay, we're refreezing this and using it next week." <laughs> we at least from it. what I know, our lunch program was definitely like tasty, but it was kind of. I could be wrong, and I'm not trying to, like, talk shit here to anybody. Um, but it did seem a little bit sketchy to me. Yeah. Like, it definitely seemed like I think all they would just re- refreeze everything. I think that's what they have to do. Because, I mean, realistically, I think everything comes fully cooked. All they do is basically oh, warm it up. They put it in those, like, big metal, like, bins? Heat, yeah. Pans? And or, then they, or, like, like the heating it? racks. And they yeah. have, like, an oven in there and a stove. But I never saw them taking a Salisbury steak off yeah. that or anything, you know. Like there were like, nothing. I want to say there were like three lunch ladies for our school who did literally everything, I think. Yeah, ours was the same way. Maybe, and I think actually the janitors helped out with like doing the dishes, like just spraying down all the trays. Yeah. And putting them through the washer. That's but pretty sick. One of our lunch ladies did not speak English. Oh, that's kind of hard. Like she was like an immigrant. Yeah. And like, and so it's hard to like tell her what you want. For yeah, lunch. we'd be. I'd be like, get, I'd sometimes like switch lines because we had two lines. You had two lines, dude. You guys so are like, you're just one upping me everywhere, except for the fact that we maybe had eight corn okay, dogs. Okay, so imagine like this is like the, <laughs> this is like the rack, like or like the counter, and then there's like that garage door thing. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And they open that up, and there were lines on one on the right side, one on the left, and you you go and you shoot, like shoot out like that. That's sick. And if I'd see her on, like, one side, I would sometimes switch. Because, like, if I didn't want something, I was like, oh, I don't want that. Or, hey, I want this. <laughs> she just wouldn't. She would just always do the same thing because she didn't really she didn't understand. Know, yeah. That's she funny. was nice, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing now, like, is lunch ladies are always pretty nice. Yeah. Um, there was one time. So my grade school would get very mad if you accidentally threw out silverware. <laughs> Yeah, always a big, right? always a big so deal. Everybody made sure they get really mad, like, right, like uh-huh. really mad about it. And I'm like, dude, it's like chill out. Like, it's f- it'll be fine. You can buy like a hundred forks mm-hmm. for probably like ten bucks. Like, it's fine. I'll just buy you a new pack of them. I'll just know? bring a fork from home. Really? I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would just bring my own fork, right? Or I'd be like, you know what? I'll use the money I got from that printer, and I'll just Hell buy yeah. you guys like a thousand more forks, right? So. <laughs> So, um, in fourth grade, I accidentally threw out a fork. No. And my, and the, Did they see? Another teacher, not my fourth grade teacher, because he was super chill. He was awesome. Um, but another teacher who saw, like, I accident. I swear it was an accident. I, I, I did dude, not mean. No one, some kids, no, some kids would purposely throw them okay. out to be like, to be like, oh, I'm cool. You know, yeah, I, I don't, I don't care. Yeah. Um, but, Tough um, guy. I, yeah, exactly. But I accidentally threw it out. And this one teacher, she saw me. She, I don't know how, right? Maybe she heard like. Did the you fork know, like, side. immediately when you dumped your tray, you were like, "Oh, I just threw my fork away." Yeah, I was like, "Oh no, I definitely forgot to put my fork in there." Because we had like a silverware jug that you had to put your dirty silverware in, yep. and then you had like where you stack your trays, right? And I was like, "Shoot, I definitely ate with a fork," you know. But I 
don't have it. And I was like, yeah. I more than likely threw it out, right? And she saw it. And she comes over. And she made me dig it out of the garbage can. That's fucking... Halfway through the day, school day, I had to literally dig through the garbage can to find my fork. I it, was livid. It might have not even been your fork. It could yeah. have been some other kid's fork. It could fork. have been some other kid's <laughs> fork. It was just, it was terrible, dude. I don't know why they did that. They, at my school, that would never be allowed. It was a public school. They couldn't make you do anything. Yeah, dude. That, <laughs> it, was, it was so bad. I don't know. It was, uh, I would have, I would have rather literally just brought a fork from home and been like, here, just they have got, it. My mom would have probably been like, I don't, she doesn't care. You know, she'd be like, I don't care. We'll just go buy him a new fork. My school got mad so about dumb. the silverware situation because a lot of the times we would end up, I know I would, just because like half the food you get, you don't actually need a fork to yeah, eat it. Yeah, yeah. 90% and it's like, of it. Yeah. It's, I don't even know why I took a fork in the first place, but they'd get mad at us for the forks and they'd get mad mm-hmm. at us for the jello. We had jello every day and it was either green or it was red. Mm-hmm. And no one ever really liked it. Yeah. But then, I don't know who found out that you could do this. If you take a sandwich bag from one of your friends who has cold lunch Mm -hmm. and you blow it up like three quarters of the way, you can push down like right in the middle and then you can put jello there. And then if you hit the bag, the jello will shoot up in the air. (laughs) And we found this out. I think in like seventh grade. Oh, it's the and worst. Like for That's a, the worst time to figure that out. For like a month. For the faculty. Every day in lunch, like people, the kids from hot lunch would all get the jello, mm-hmm. and the kids with cold lunch would all throw their baggies over, and we'd shoot jello up in the air. And it was always like a, <laughs> it was always like, okay, no teachers are watching. Boom. And it like shoot up. So funny. One kid, I don't know what strategy he knew. But he could make it like hit the ceiling, and then there'd be like a stain, or That's like awesome. some of the jello would stick there. <laughs> I have an extremely similar story, just but not with jello. Okay. So when we were in eighth grade, yeah, eighth grade, right? We, um, me and Peyton and two of our other friends, Nathan and Brad, all sat at the same lunch table, right? Which is a terrible combination. They should have had assigned seating because Great we combo. got rowdy. We get rowdy, right? And great in school the eighth grade tables are literally like across like the like oh, aisle from boy. like where like the faculty did like you their have whole those area is, right? Pause. Did you have those lunch tables that are like a triangle and then they fold out? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't like they're so. stood up like this when they're not being used? No. And Ours then they were just fold solid, out? Okay. solid big brown plastic. Okay. Like eight feet long, three feet wide probably. Um, rectangles, right? Yeah. So um, we're sitting at our table, literally across the aisle from the principal, the vice principal, and then like a bunch of our teachers, right? This is seventh or eighth grade, mm-hmm. and um, we'd always mess with each other's food and stuff, and like just like I don't know to be mean to each other, right? Because that's what like eighth Usual. grade boys do. Yeah. So <laughs> so I what I did is I I poked a hole in my friend Brad's top of his milk carton, right? Gang. And he didn't notice. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Because I know some stuff about physics, right? I'm yeah. like, when you poke a hole in the top of something and a hole in the bottom, it flows really fast. Uh-huh. But when you poke a hole only in the bottom, it comes out and it like air's got to yeah. go back in, right? Blub, blub, blub. So I poked a hole in the top without him noticing. And then I'm like, I'm going to poke a hole in the bottom or like on like the side, you know? Yeah. Like, but towards the bottom. And so it's, it's just going to flow out. <laughs> so what I did, I was like... I like just really quick. I just grabbed his milk from the one side and stabbed it in the side <laughs> and it started pouring out. And he, his initial reaction, not knowing there's a hole in the top of the milk curtain, just the- grabs at it and squeezes it to try to stop it from the side, and you know, it just- and it sprays <laughs> out the top. Chocolate milk hits the ceiling. And then all of a sudden we're all just sitting there. We're like, we're all just kind of looking at our trays and we're like, oh my God. Oh my god! Hopefully <laughs> nobody saw that, right? And we're like, okay, like five minutes later, five minutes past, I'm like, okay, I think we're all fine. You know, we're hearts we're beating, yeah. hearts are beating. We're all freaking out. Everyone's like, like swiveling. We think we're good, right? And then um, the lunch bell like rings or whatever, and it's time to like uh, get up or whatever and leave, you know. And the principal walks over to our table. Oh no! And she's like, um, <laughs> she's like, 
you boys want to tell me what happened a little while ago? <laughs> and we're like, what do you mean? Like, what? <laughs> Nothing happened. No. What you, like, was somebody being too loud, you know? And, um, and uh, <laughs> I think Brad goes... <laughs> <laughs> we made a milk rocket. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even make one, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, and she goes, okay, well, who was it all, you know? And me and Brad and Nathan, we all raise our hands, mm-hmm. and Peyton's sitting there with his head down. Classic. Classic. <laughs> That's such a P move. We all love him, but classic P move, right? Because he didn't <laughs> want to get in trouble. He didn't want to have to get penalized like us, you know? Yeah. And then all three of us just look at him. He flashes a look up at each of us, and then he slowly raises his <laughs> hand. <laughs> and then they basically just made us clean the whole cafeteria, but it was sick because we got to skip religion afterwards. And we wow. were just watching the video, and we were like, we just messed around, the four of us, best friends. We just got to clean the cafeteria for like a half hour, do it, just messing around, spraying each other with the bottles and stuff. Heck yeah. It was sick. Like, we didn't get punished. It was a reward, basically. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It was <laughs> crazy. We made a milk rocket. We also did other weird things at lunch. We'd punch like the little, you know, like the little um, packets of butter that were in like the foil kind of. If you like hit them right, they would spray mm-hmm. like one way. We'd do that. We were, I mean, it's it's kind of interesting how like kids are just pieces of shit. <laughs> basically. You do shit all the time. <laughs> That's what like at that age kid. level, at that age level, boys are like, because you know, girls mature faster, whatever, Seventh right? Seventh to like ninth grade. Yeah, you're you're just so immature, dude. Being but you have like the physical strength to be like a total <laughs> piece of garbage. It's so funny. Yeah. Good times. I just fucking be, yelled dude, in my mic. Being a being a grade school principal or like a high school principal must be tough, dude. Yeah. Think of like all the crap. You put up with like a principal has to deal with, yeah. And it's literally their job to just deal with the situations that none of the teachers want to deal with. Yeah, that's very true. So like every time someone walks into your office to tell you something as a principal, you're just like, okay, what is it this time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember, I believe it was seventh grade. Mm-hmm. There was like a new teacher, a new English teacher. Nice. At our school. Classic. And she was just teaching like seventh grade English and like homeroom or whatever. And we, we like, I don't think we were really that bad. We all just play games on like our phones the whole time or our iPads. But this one kid got kicked out of class 27 days in a row. <laughs> 27. <laughs> One time, the last the last day he got kicked out, she, she made him, this guy's so, he was like, he just did stuff to make people laugh all the mm. time. Because that's what, I mean, that's who he Classic. was. He wasn't really a class clown. Well, I guess he was. But he wasn't like telling jokes. He was just mm-hmm. like doing stuff. He was like, he kept whistling during class. <laughs> like while the teacher was talking. And... She got done with her lesson or or whatever, and everyone's like working really quiet in the room. Mm-hmm. And he like look, he was sitting right next to me. He like looks over to me, and then he like does a whistle. And like I started laughing, mm-hmm. and the teacher was like, "Lewis, was that you?" And I was like, "No." And and <laughs> she was like, "Oh, so it was this kid, the kid next to me. I don't want to say his name, but." Mm-hmm. So she made him go sit Is it by somebody his... that I would recognize her name. No. Okay. Lame. But they, <laughs> she made him go sit right next to her, like in her desk, with his like little like paper that whatever we were writing on. So he's sitting there <laughs> mm-hmm. for like five minutes, and like then he just starts laughing. He was like, it was like a giggle, <laughs> and it turned into a laugh. Mm-hmm. And the teacher's like, "Stop laughing!" And he was like, "I'm sorry, I can't." <laughs> and he's sitting there giggling and then he finally stops giggling <laughs> and then he whistles one more time and the teacher just lost it <laughs> she was like she was like go to the principal's office right now and like he was like okay and it's he so like funny. left the room went to the principal's office and then he didn't kick he then he like 
didn't mess with that teacher anymore. But it was <laughs> like the funniest that. thing in the world. It's so funny, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, shoot. There was something I was just thinking of. Now I can't remember what it was. I don't know. Dude. We had a really bad class in grade school. Like, we were just like really, that would torment we were, the teacher. We were really funny, yeah. <laughs> it was a really but good class. <laughs> we also we it also ended very poorly for us on two to three occasions. Where it, sometimes the, it the police liaison officer had to come in. Oh and talk wow! To us two or three different times. We never <laughs> it was had pretty intense. Yeah, we never had that. <laughs> it was pretty. <laughs> It was really funny. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, it's not really that funny of a story. But I'm just going to say it real quick. In high school, I was in sophomore year. I was in the Spanish class. And um, the teacher was like, okay, everybody get out a piece of paper. We're going to do some Spanish bullshit, right? And um, I didn't have paper. Like, I was ran out of loose leaf. And I was like, shoot, like, what am I going to do? God. So I asked this kid next to me, I'm like, and oh no, she was like she was like okay, everybody be quiet and you know work by yourself. And I'm like ask this kid quiet, or not quietly, right? Because I wanted to, I wanted to make it known that I wasn't trying to cheat or anything. So I said, hey man, can I borrow a piece of paper, like pretty yeah. loud, you know? So she would like know that I was just asking for paper. Yeah. She get kicked me out. She got. She was she like took no, it the completely wrong way. She was like no talking, get out. And I was like what? I was, I was like, like I'm, I was asking for a piece of paper. I'm trying to do the exercise, and I got a zero, and I was yeah. pissed. But yeah, that's it. Okay. Should we call it an end? Yeah. All right. Peace, Mo. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. Uh, Peace out. Uh, you Wisconsin goose hunters. Geese hunter. Fair weather buck hunter. Did you see that video? <laughs> yeah, yesterday. I was going to send that and be like, this is Hayden. Why did you just hunt her?